Ah, oh, there we go. Hello there. Welcome to the sixth round of the championship. We are at Lago Maggio for uh, tonight's race. I could hear my own voice. Let me just turn it down. There we go. Got two people watching. Don't forget, give this race a thumbs up. And uh, anyone new to the championship or watching this uh, that are new on this, go give us a subscribe. As we're looking here at Cool and Sharp running side by side. Uh, one thing I needed to mention here is that uh, Sharp there, and the, the, the guy who's sick at the moment, is on a steering wheel now. He's not on the controller. He's given it a go on the wheel, so I'm not going to slate him or anything like that. And then either should all of us in the chat as well. Anyways, let's get on with to the, the points coming into this race. So, Sean Cool still has the lead of 301 points. Uh, in second place is McEwen on 290. And in third place is Ben Milton with the uh, double wins that he had uh, last week. He's now f firmly uh, asserted himself as a championship uh, contender now on 277. Then we've got a massive gap back, 64 to be exact, uh, with Milden sitting third to Chris Clements in fourth. Adam Piper, who isn't going to be uh, racing tonight, he is in fifth place. Jordan Hogan, I don't think he's going to be racing too. And Rob Schauler was uh, supposed to be seventh in the points, but unfortunately he's pulled out of the championship because of the uh, incidents that occurred with himself and the uh, new guy, uh, James Stevens, so unfortunately he has uh, pulled out. Lewis Edwards, who is now competing here tonight. Uh, there he is. We didn't see him last week. He's running 8th in the points on 141 points. Coleman Corkery, who's uh, running another championship. But uh, his car has been replaced by... No, not that guy. This guy right here. This is a new guy called Jay Moore, who has replaced Coleman Corkery. We'll get to the other driver in a minute uh, Rob Adams I don't see Rob at all on our screens we have got not a lot of people racing here tonight only I think 11 to be exact no Piper no Hogan no Adams and no Edgecombe because apparently from what I heard in the chat earlier that uh, Edgecombe has also pulled out of the championship so it's getting a bit annoying how people manage just to pull out of their uh, championships I mean it'd be quite nice for people not to pull out of championships and just do the whole season if you will anyway Edgecombe was 11th in the championship of 117 Colin Barrow as we're looking at right now sits on 86 a point ahead of Ash Sharp Leon Welsh on 74 then the new guy James Stephen who really didn't make a lot of friends out there last week he is under close scrutiny tonight and he sits on 54 points and again the new guys there uh, Jay Moore and this guy right here replacing Shaula's old livery at uh, race car sorry is Chris Wall and at the moment already improving up to in second position so the clock is now at 8 o'clock. We will get qualifying underway. Only 11 cars to be uh, racing, which is uh, quite unfortunate. At the uh, Auto Maggio East. And uh, Welsh has uh, left the room, which is obviously quite typical of uh, Welsh to do that. Don't forget, we've got our live chat in there. Um, want people in to say hi or whatever, or if anyone is actually uh, going to comment on the chat, be nice to see. We should be getting qualifying underway. Not, I'm not too what, I'm not sure what Ben is doing. We've got five people watching. Don't forget, give this a thumbs up. So we're just looking at the new guy, Chris Wall, going into towards this fast series of corners. Taking lots of care now. I also noticed there in the, the chat there too what uh, McCune was saying about fine, you know, track limits. Um, because there is a lot of them. And then you've got this annoying corner right here. The, the long left-hand hairpin followed to like a 90-degree right-hand hair uh, corner. Which is sort of flat out in a way. And he will improve just a teensy bit as out comes... Uh, more 
And we are going to get qualifying underway. The five-minute shootout. The mad dash for pole position that begins tonight. Well, begins now. Sorry. And it's going to be second at the points. McEwen going to head out first. So here we go. Let's, 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 let's go on board then with a lap around this track with McEwen. So first corner... Oh, he's slowed way down. Okay, he, he doesn't want to go ahead. He doesn't want to lead the pack. He wants to get the slipstream. Right, so let's go then with... Uh, well, actually, let, let's go on board then with, uh, with Chris Wall. So we're going down to the series of fast corners. Left, then right. Don't hit the orange sausage curb because it will upset the car. Go on to the right-hand side. You can clip this corner here. Ooh, little understeer. And then into the tight right left hand hairpin and then into the 90 degree right hand corner and then onto the long street slipstream city right here and uh, that's that's just a quick lap around here i think we're going to be doing 19 laps around at this uh, facility so uh, i think these 19 laps are going to go by very very quickly i reckon for races it's six. What is it? 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes. I think that's right. Stephen. Stephen looks like he's going to pull away. Like I said, just a few minutes ago, he's under some close scrutiny from the admins because of his uh, erratic driving from the last race at Sakuba that uh, unfortunately uh, made Shaolin retire from this championship. But hopefully, we'll see them. We'll see him back in. The championship for next season. Whatever cars are going to do, I don't know. Cool. The port, the championship leader goes fastest. Then third in the championship, Milton goes second in his Audi. And Stephen will have to settle for third place. So 46 988. We're into the high 46s. And McEwen goes third. Stephen down to fourth. Edwards in fifth. Clements, who was just uh, just new to this, uh, well, just came into the lobby. He's uh, putting a solid lap time. Sixth in his Vauxhall Vectra. I know it's a Mitsubishi, but I like to call it the uh, deliveries from that year, which is the 1998 uh, cars. I'm just a bit disappointed that we're not seeing Jordan Ogan in the end of Peugeot, because I, I really do love that livery of the car. Also, big mention to say a massive thank you there to Sean Cool because uh, my uh, my little present from Sean was uh, an SBR mug. Has uh, arrived through the post earlier this week. Ben goes a little quicker, but not fast enough to go into pole position. But the gap has come down a little bit. McEwen goes quicker too. As Cole moves way out of everyone's way. Here come, there goes uh, Jay Moore. In the Volvo. So as the moment is, with two minutes to go, it is Sean Cole, the championship leader. Ben Milton, th uh, third in the championship. And then second at the championship, Liam McEwen covers the top three. Stephen only like nearly 400 percent slower than Liam's time and is three thousandths quicker than uh, Lewis Edwards in that Renault and he's been held up by Liam Welsh in the Rob Gravin independent ran Honda. Chris Clement is still sixth. Someone's just coming into the pit lane. I think that was Stephen. Yeah, James Stephen coming into the pit lane with 90 seconds to go. The new guy Chris Wall sitting seventh. Then it's Colin Barrow. Again, McEwen goes quicker, but not quick enough to go second or pole. As Ash goes into the 48, so we get Ash is driving a wheel. So it's the first time he's using a wheel in this championship. So, you know, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Colin Barrow, eighth. Then you've got Welsh in ninth. Then the new guy, that is Jay Moore in tenth. And then there is Ash in eleventh place. One and a half seconds back. But like I said, he's driving the wheel. top three now all separated by less than a quarter of a second and you can see there's some damage there onto the the front right of Liam's uh, independent ran Vauxhall for all you hardcore BTCC fans that are out there you'll probably notice that that it wasn't raced in the 98 season that was a 99 car and also was this car right here, which was the 97 car driven by Lee Brooks. It's a uh, cool, just moving well out of everyone's way. I think Cool might have got another pole position in the bag here. So it could be status quo as it is, because I don't think Liam's going to be improving. Yeah, Sean's probably done enough. Yep, Sean's now into the pit lane, so I think he is done. 
for qualifying. It's just a case now of what Ben can do. And he looks like he's run very wide at the hairpin. Now he's just slowing down. No, he's done. So Milton's not going to challenge for pole position. It's McEwen on the hot lap. Let's see. He's just got a couple of turns to go. He's going in towards the hairpin. He's got, I think that was Colin Barrow right ahead of him. So he will get a little bit of a slipstream. But will he improve from a 47 208? Ash improves, he's down into the 47s, and no, he does improve, but only just, but it's not good enough to improve to second position. So McEwen, second in the championship, will have to settle for third in race one. And I think that's pretty much it, so uh, there you go. So I think that might be the end of qualifying. Looking at the time remaining, I think there could be a little bit more seconds. But just to be sure, if there is more extra time, we will have a look at the uh, the qualifying. So, Sean Koo, congratulations to him. Yet another pole position in his Honda Accord. And the qualifier has ended. So, here you go. It's Koo, Milden, McEwen, Stephen, Edwards, Clements. That was your top six. And Ash saying, evening, guys. There he is. There's the first of the comments. So here we go. This is the start of race number 16. A shame to see only 11 cars. A little bit of a depleted field, if you will. It's Cool Milton, McEwen, Stephen, Edwards, Clements. The new guy, Chris Wall. Then Colin Barrow, Welsh, Moore, and then Sharp completing the field. That's it. That's an unusual camera angle. I have to say. Here we go then. As the engine notes rise, we are getting ready for the first race of three tonight. Now the engine notes rise. You can see there, Sean, on the red limiter and first. And away we go. Does he get a good start? Or was it Ben? Look at Liam, though. Trying to split the eye of the needle here. Going free abreast into turn one. The tight left hand hairpin who's going to come out on top and it's going to be McEwen McEwen gets the great jump and into the lead he goes Sean Cool relegated to second place a good start there too from Edwards he's already up into fourth position Stephen had a bit of a nightmare he's going to lose two positions here but what a start for McEwen into this fast section of the track and Milton all over the back and in fact he's going to have a look onto the inside here yeah. no Liam shuts the door already some intense racing going on and I think that was someone going a little bit wide there contact there with Milton and McEwen there was a little bump and here comes Edwards now up into third position cool down to fourth not a good lap from the championship leader as it stands right now so at the moment it is McEwen from Ben from Edwards and they're nearly going to be free abreast going up and towards the tight hairpin for the second time and look at the new guy look at Chris Wall they're going to make it four abreast here I'm trying to get everyone's camera angles here they're bumping and barging and whatever now Edwards has been lost out and Wall goes into second place Diddy me, absolutely some entertaining race at already at the start. Let's have a look at this. So let's ride on board here. Look at there, absolutely nowhere to go. Finds a bit, a bit of piece of tarmac here. Into us the first corner. Really late on the brakes. It's, they're just hitting each other left, right, and centre. And up into second position goes the new guy, Chris Wolver. Superb stuff. And now Edwards along the outside at the 90 degree right hand corner. But will Edwards have the run? That's not the right camera angle. It's it's pretty much allowing McEwen to get away. He's almost got jumped to a two second advantage. But Edwards is going to have a look on the inside. Look at Milton. Milton's going way out to the right hand side of the track. He doesn't want to be a part of all that racing. He's going to lose a spot to Cool in the process. And he's, yeah, he's just going to lose maybe one position or two. But they're still side by side. This is like looking at NASCAR here. But on a road course. Side by side into the fast series of corners now. Absolutely some entertaining racing already. And we're only on lap three. And this is just the first race. And there's more contact there. Edwards trying to barge his way through. And up into second position he goes now. Oh, and maybe he gets a little touch from the rear from Wall at the back. No, I don't think so. There was no, no signs of it scraping and all that. And I mean, McEwen is like, you know, you just go away and just clear off. Ben and Sean into the pit lane. And McEwen has nearly pulled off a 2.3 second lead after all that battling. I think it's all sort of settled down right now. But there you go. Ben into the pits. He's gone to the soft tyres. Uh, Sean also come in and Ash has just come in too and uh, Welsh just must have had a prop oh no he pitted he pitted on the second lap my apologies so Welsh back out on the track there but what a start there that was there from Liam McEwen third up to first first corner and then all them two were just slicing and dicing and 
it's allowed Liam to pull away. That four people that are watching there, I hope you were entertained by that, because I certainly was. Anyways, I don't, even, I don't know why I'm needing to hold the controller. The gap is slowly coming down, 2.2 seconds now. But, let yellow flags, I think, has just been waved. Yeah, someone is off, and it's, and it's Chris Wall. Chris Wall's had a moment. So he got onto the grass there. That, that was at the penultimate corner. Now, did he have help? Did he have some help? Uh, oh, that was interesting. Now, was that some sort of glitch? That might have been a little glitch there, but that's not that's unfortunate for Chris Wall. Already making a big statement in this championship and that little moment there, and, and it's, it's really cost his race, unfortunately. So, such a shame to see that there. McEwen now slowly extending now that, champ, that, that lead. 2.3 seconds. Ben up to 7th. Then Sean, the two championship protagonists, 7th and 8th, but they have made their pit stops. Liam has yet to make his one, as we're coming on now into lap 6 out of 19 for them. As I said, Chris Wall's gone by Ash Sharp. Don't forget, Ash is driven... He's driving with a wheel for the first time, so like I says, you know, give Ash some some credibility here, just because because he's keeping himself, you know, he's he's driving his own race and he's doing a good job at the moment. Real battle though is going on here for third place. Then it is with Stephen, and then you got the new guy Jay Moore, and then in the background there is Chris Clements. We've seen some good potential signs of uh, Clements this season, but then he gets always uh, fondled up in some. Little incidents there. Jay Moore tried to have a look on the inside of Stevens, and Stevens was like, No, you don't. Lead is now into the pit lane. McEwen is in, so that will enable uh, now uh, Edwards to the race lead. It's going to be interesting to see where Liam comes out. Colin Barrow comes into the pits. Does he come out just ahead of Ben? He does, but he actually comes out right in front of this battle now for second place as we ride on board with Liam. And you can see the gap there behind there. 2.5 seconds he has over Ben. But he's got three cars there battling all the way there for second place between Stephen. And in fact, Clement has gone by up into third now. So uh, Jay Moore down to P4 as we're going through this uh, annoying little corner. Can be a little bit uh, understeady over the brow of the hill. Now in towards the, uh, the penultimate turn and then the last turn. Anyone coming into the pits this time by? Yep, Lewis Edwards in. So too does uh, Clement. So too does uh, does uh, Jay Moore. And now McEwen up to second place. Ben to third and Sean into fourth. While the others are making their pit stop. And into fifth goes Chris Wall. Slightly understeady there from McEwen. Little mistake. Hard on the brakes there. That was from McEwen. And you can see the gap slowly coming down now. 2.2 seconds now. It was 2.5 the previous lap. So Liam got to be a little bit careful because Ben and Sean are going to catch them. Liam comes out in fifth. Then Clements in sixth. Seventh is Jay Moore. He's gone. Uh, oh, yeah. And actually, yeah, Chris Wall made his pit stop on lap six. So, uh, so hopefully Chris will uh, recover his way up through the field. Ninth is Colin Bardo. Tenth is Sharp. And in last place is Leon Welsh in the independent run Honda. So I think only realistically it's just James Stevens that is last to make his pit stop. And he's just there casually leading away. Gap is stabilizing, but it's improving now. 1.8, but the gap is coming down now. More importantly, what is the gap now? It's now 1.9 seconds. So to me, it looks like Ben is catching Liam by three temps a lap. And we've got about 11 laps to go here. So, whatever Ben's doing, he's doing it right. I think Ben's transition from actually racing from a Mazda to a, to a Subaru now has really benefited him. Oh, and he just clips the wall. So that's going to lose him a bit of momentum. And here comes Cool to the inside. Side by side, got start finish line. And Sean goes up into P3. Ben down to fourth, and Edwards is also catching them in his Renault Laguna. Into the first corner they go for the tenth time. Ten laps to go. Sean runs a little wide. It's a turn one. 
I just noticed that there's seven corners. I just counted them. Yeah, seven corners. So what's the gap now after that mistake? 2.4 seconds. A little bit of leeway now from McEwen to Cool. Edwards starting to catch up in his Red Bull Laguna. Now just about to one a second. And Clements has fallen way back now away from Edwards. 2.7 seconds. But he's going to be under a little bit of pressure now as we ride on board now with Clements. As you can see there, Jay Moore and Chris Wall, the new guys in this championship. James finally comes into the pit lane, surrenders the race lead. Oh, and, and Chris Wall goes in again. That's a second pit stop. He didn't need to go in for two stops. It did say he did pit on lap six on Chris Wall's screen. Very interesting. Oh my goodness me, that's a, that's a big lunge there from Jay Boy. He's closing up ever so much now on the back of that Voxel Vetra. Let's ride on board now with the Volvo of the new guy. Jay Moore as he goes through the left and right. Stevens comes out in fifth position. Again, over that pretty much annoying corner there. You want to get on the throttle a bit early, but you just can't because you're going over the brow of the hill. If you put the power on, you will create a lot of understeer, a lot of care for the last corner, and then onto the start finish straight to complete a lap and start yet another one as we're on to lap 12. So with this now, oh, Ben's up into second place. There's a free car scrap for second place now as Ben has got away by and they are slowly catching up. Now, this is what, this is what Liam needs to see. If they're battling for first, second place, it's going to allow Liam yet again to pull away. And it's up to what Edwards can do because I think Sean is little oh there's a little touch there just to make good friends there just saying hello i'm still here sean cool posting the fastest lap of the race of 46 oh it gets into sean there was a bit of a lunge i have to say he did leave the door a little bit open there it was sort of like an alborn hamilton moment at brazil last year but don't think they lost a bit too much time on that but i want to see what the gap is now 2.5 seconds and it is slowly coming down Oh, just by saying that their lane was faster by war, by a tenth of a second. So the gap is still at two and a half seconds. But our eyes are sitting now for second in the race between Milton, Cool, and Edwards. Edwards, who didn't compete last week at Sakuba. He's racing here tonight. So he's doing a good job not snowing any of that rustiness that, that, that uh, he had there. In fact, he gets two wheels on the grass uh, to turn five. Now into turn six. I think there's a battle going on for sixth position. Yep, yeah, that's Clements. And they, they've actually caught up now to Stephen. So more Clements and Stephen. That's a free car battle for fifth place. And they're in the background. There's uh, Colin Bardo and Roger Moen entered independent Honda. Six laps to go. Free car battle for second. Free car battle for fifth. Between three different manufacturers, both for second, battle for second and for fifth. So as you can see there from the top eight, it is Vauxhall from Audi, from Honda, from Renault, from Nissan, from Vauxhall, from Volvo, from Honda. That's your top eight as it shows on the screen. Chris Wall in ninth position. Tenth is Ash Sharp. And we're going we're to see a battle here for tenth place, it would seem. It's right on board with Leon as he goes through the fast left right hand corners. Using all of the care, but turn three. Now into. Sorry, that's turn four. My apologies. Into turn five. Sliding his way through turn five. Now into the tight turn six. The left hand hairpin. First gear. He's going to switch into second gear and then you could make it flat out in turn seven using a lot of curb there. Actually, Ash is going to slightly pull away from that. Had a better line off the corner. Now then, what's going on here? Free abreast here for second place and Edwards trying to make his way through on the inside of Shonku and Ben Milden and he's going to go into second. Is he... No, Ben takes it. Oh, and he makes contact with the wall when I just go into a replay. So let's see what happened here. We will get, hopefully, we will get to see how we got into the wall. Yeah, Sean just attacked that turn four, uh, turn five. Yeah, Edwards is not too happy about what Ben did. Now, was he legitimately alongside Ben? Yeah, he was, and he just hit him. Yeah, that took, that looked to me that that Ben. Oh, and Lewis is out. Lewis is out. It looked like to me that uh, that Ben sort of drove into uh, to Edwards by my, 
by the looks of it there and pushed him off into the wall. So I wonder if the students are going to have a look at that. I say McEwen's lead now up to four seconds because of that. And Melton, who, uh, Milton, sorry, who could be under a bit of scrutiny after that incident with Edwards. It'll be quite, uh, it'll be quite a bit unfair if he won't gets away with no penalty with that because that did look a bit uh, meant to do that, I think. But anyway, Sean Cool now in the third. You got the top three in the championship sitting one, two, three, fourth position now is uh, Jay Moore. He's managed to get by uh, James Stevens, which we haven't seen. In fact, Stephen and Clements are side by side. They're pretty much side drafted each other, still bumping and leaning on one another. And Colin Barrow's in the thick of it right now. Let's ride on board with Colin Barrow as they go through turn five, and Stephen holds on to it. Lots of care there from Clements, who's now down to P6. And now Colin Barlow wants to have a piece of the action too as Jay Moore is driven away from this battle for fifth place. Got to be careful, don't hit the wall there. Clements nearly did. That will scrub up some speed. Lost a little bit of momentum. And onto the outside goes Colin Barlow and through into P6. He gets a bit of help from the slipstream of Stevens ahead of him. So Colin Barlow into a good solid sixth position. And Clements now down to seventh place. In fact, he wants more. He wants more than sixth place. He wants to get top five here. On yourself, Jeff. No, it's not going to do it, though, unfortunately. And as to go through again, through the, the nasty tear number five. Looks like it's going to be a good, solid battle here. But at least James is keeping his nose clean after what happened last week with himself. And Shaula, like I said, Stephen is under close scrutiny from the admins to see any erraticness from Stephen as we're on to the last lap of the race. And uh, it's been a dominant there start. What a start there from Liam McEwen. It's what he needed. And uh, he's going to gain a little bit more championship points on the leader, Sean Cool, into this. I don't know exactly. I forgot how much points it is. Uh, for a win. In fact, they're going to be side by side for second place. Yeah, and Ben trying to protect the second place now from Sean. He doesn't want to lose too much points. He's going to have the inside baby for turn six. No, he does not. But anyway, coming through to complete and get yet another win. McEwen wins round one, race one, round 16 of the championship. Ben's going to hold on to second place just ahead of Sean Cool. Fourth position, the new guy, Jay Ball. Solid effort from him. He will finish in fourth place. And it's going to be... Stevens is going to be ahead. It's going to be a full finish though for sixth place. It's going to be Clements. He just beats Colin Bardo to the line. And then we wait for Chris Wall to come across the line in eighth. Leon Walsh has managed to find, find a way by uh, the, uh, the new steering wheel driver of Ash Sharp. So Welsh will finish ninth. And tenth place will go to Sharp. And one retirement to that was Edwards, unfortunately, DNF because of the incident with Ben. So congratulations then to McEwen. He's gained some points on the championship leader, Sean Gould. Can he establish that first win to a second win? We'll find out in a couple of minutes time for race number two.
Here we go again then. Getting ready for the second race. The starting grid will be the uh, results from the first race. So here we go then on a bright and sunny day at Lago Maggio. It is McEwen, Milton, Cool, Moore, Stephen, uh, Clements, Columbaro, Wall, Welsh. Why is that camera angle so annoying? Ash Sharp and then Lewis Edwards back again. Car now easily uh, uh, was fixed. So uh, we're going to get another 19 laps under wing. Has McEwen sets the pace. Liam's been very good on these starts. And lights out. And away we go for race two. And again, he gets the jump so, so beautifully. The top two have done an extremely uh, perfect start there to me. But, I mean, three abreast and nearly four abreast going into turn one. This is all going to end in tears there. Cool and Stevens trying to make Kirk, well, Stevens trying to make it go around the outside and got pushed off there. And look at Colin Barrow now up into fourth position. So superb style from Colin Barrow up into P4 and all over the back of the uh, proper Ran Honda of Sean Cool as the field they're set the way in towards turn five for the first time. Colin Barrow's been hit up wide. They also there's a bit of a touch with Stevens too. And uh, Stevens is right into the thick of things here, side by side with Welsh into turn seven, the final corner. So Stevens has had an absolutely nightmare start down to ninth place. And he's getting there, uh, Lewis Edwards all over the back. And in fact, Edwards trying to have a look around the outside. And Sharp's trying to have a look. Also, he's trying to get away by two. But it looks like Sharp is going to go. He's going to put Stevens free wide in the middle as we start the second lap of the race. And Edwards. And Stevens there side by side as it is. So it is. McEwen still leads from Milton. Sean Coo already a distant 1.4 seconds back. Fourth is Clements. And Jay Moore, who was very impressive in the first race, is looking away around the outside of Clements into turn five. Tries to go for the crisscross into the hairpin, but that's not going to work. Look at the field of cars that are right behind Clements. You've got Jay Moore, Colin Bartle, Chris Wall. You got Welsh, Stephen, and uh, you got you got Lewis Edwards there too. I wonder if uh, if uh, Sharp is. I think Sharp is actually there too. Let's have a look. Let's see where he is. There he is. Yep. Still in touch and distance there, Stephen. Free abreast then after the first corner. Look at Welsh go. And look at Sharp. He's just took in the initiative. And he goes up picking two places now. So Edwards. It's having a bit of a nightmare race at the moment there. Just cannot find a way through because he's got cars all over him. And he's all over the back of Sharp here. But he's going to have a look on the inside for turn five. And then goes for the crisscross and regains P9. Or does he? Edwards trying to find a route. And through goes Stevens then. So Stevens is getting two positions now. Fantastic reason here from the second race. And Ash decides enough is enough. I'm going into the pit lane. Get a new pair of underwear. Holy smokes, that was some good, good racing right there. Meanwhile, the lead now is coming down. Three temps now between McEwen to Milton. And they've pulled quite a still a hefty gap, though. And the gap is still maintained. 1.4 seconds. But the gap is definitely pulling away with Cool to Clements. It was about 2.6 seconds. Meanwhile, this is the only battle that's going on at the moment here for fifth place yet again. And it is with two independent teams and an actual team. So far, it's Chris Roberts leading the way. Then it is Jay Moore. And then Colin Barrow has already been in the scraps. I'm only four laps in. And he's got scrapes all over the Roger and Moe uh, independent run Honda. In fact, will he come into the pit lane? No, he will not. And Leon Walsh there actually showing a lot of metal, a lot of ball in this race. Edwards finally comes into the pits to serve his, uh, life, uh, his only pit stop to go into the super softs. But, uh, yeah, Leon Walsh is actually mixing it with the big boys here tonight. So that's good to see there. Now he's just trying to catch up to about less than a second. Between, well, three quarters of one second there with Colin Barrow just ahead. But he's also got his battle to contend with with Jay Moore and Chris Wall. And here comes uh, Wall trying to defend that fifth place. Going into turn five. Again, Moore going for the crisscross. And again, Wall quickly defends that fifth position there a little bit of a bump going into towards the year turn seven but again Chris Wall manages to su survive that fifth place 
Now then, Sean Cool is trying to get the Magnets now catching up to the top two ahead. And you can see the gap has come down to less than one second. So I'm guessing now McEwen is defending the lead for his life over a hard-charging Milton in that Audi. Look at that. For six laps in and literally there's no one that's behind him there. And oh, and now what's happened to uh, Jay Moore? Jay Moore has left the room. Hopefully that was a disconnect. I'm hoping it was. Hopefully there was no contact being made there, which we don't want to see. Nevin riding on board with Stevenson. He tries to find a way through there. Tries to find a bit of tarmac. There wasn't even a touring car there. Sideways through turn seven. He's going to get a little bit of a better one over Welsh. There's just enough room to stick a Nissan on the inside. Side by side. Across the line. And P7 now. P6, sorry. Go Stevens moves over to the right hand side, probably gives uh, Leon literally no room at all. And up it's a P6 now, goes James Steven. Top two side by side now. Milton goes to the inside of 10 5, and Milton takes the lead. Milton to the inside of Liam and takes the lead of the, of the uh, race number two. Nice pass there, nothing that Liam could do. I think he just knew that Ben's just a quicker driver around here, so. And in fact, Liam's going into the pit lane, so too does Sean. So I'm wondering if Liam and Sean are going for the undercut on Ben. I wonder if this is going to enable Ben to make his pit stop next time by. But the gap now, five seconds he's got over Chris Clements in second. And Chris will sort of catch him. Also in that fair place, he's also set his best lap of a 47-3-4-2. As Clements runs very wide for turn one. So McEwen down to fourth place. Cool just comes out ahead of James Stephen, which is what he needed. He didn't want a car uh, like right in front of him because he didn't want to get held up from a car that's you know got eight lap pair worn at tyres. But I tell you what, Stephen is trying to find a way through as he goes to go into turn five. A little bit of a bump, and then goes again for the crisscross, going into turn six. Still side by side, a little bit of bumping and barging between one uh, one another. More contact being made, and here comes Welsh. Welsh to the inside and takes P6 or can he take P5 no he doesn't cool sticks into to uh, fifth place there you go he corrected himself so go to the outside now goes there uh, Welsh Stevens will have a look onto the inside not gonna happen oh cool was a little run wide in the, in the first turn so he's gonna lose a bit of time there to McEwen and Ben decided to do yet another lap but they're side by side here battle for P6 now Still side by side. That's a that's a scary part. They're trying to go side by side. And Stevens goes back up into P6. Some good racing with Steven and Welsh there. Welsh be putting all four wheels off. He may get into the side of him. No, he doesn't there. Stevens fully alert from that little moment there from Welsh. And uh, Welsh, sorry. And uh, he goes up into P6 again. Now then you've got Wall, Stephen, and Clements all into the pit lane. So I think as it stand at the moment, Welsh has not yet made a pit stop. Milton has not yet made a pit stop too. And you can see the gap now. 7.8 seconds he has. And it is slowly, methodically coming down. Actually, Milton set the fast lap of what he's done. A 47.085. Fastest lap overall was Lewis Edwards. 47.047. You can see him now up into seventh place. He's got two cars ahead of them that are battling. Let's ride on board with McEwen as Milton comes into the pit lane. Absolutely fully limited on the curb at turn five. Now into turn six. He's got Clements and Wall just ahead. And McEwen is pretty much, sorry, Edwards is on a man on a mission. Now, what does Ben do? Does he come out ahead of McEwen? Here we go. Here we go. Let's have a look at the back of the race leader, Milton. And McEwen goes out just behind, uh, just behind uh, Milton. So it is pretty much status quo as it is uh, after, before they made the pit stop. But um, let's ride on board now with Lewis Edwards. It's a good recovery drive. He started 11. He's up to 6th. And he's got Clements and Wall just ahead. I don't think they can catch up with Cool in that uh, Honda right ahead of him. So really the best that Edwards could do is a top four finish. But he's been setting some really consistent lap times. That's five laps in a row. He's set it in the low 47s. Fast lap in the first race was into the 46s, I do believe. That's McEwen! And McEwen and Ben! Oh, what happened there? I don't know what... Oh, I thought that again there was another type change then. I just noticed it. 
But uh, no, Milton and McEwen still won and two. And I thought they were side by side. But anyway, into the first corner now for Edwards. And Wall thinking about to the inside of Clements. Still going to be side by side. They're going to hold each other off at the far seat. Is uh, the left right hand corner. So it's going to enable Lewis Edwards to catch up to right onto the back of the pair of them. Let's see how much he'll gain. Still side by side, nearly leaning on him. Puts him, puts Wall on the grass to Clements. Now to the inside at turn five. Hits the orange sausage cap. They're going to be free abreast into turn six. Three into one, don't go, guys. Three into one does not go. It usually doesn't pay off. Edwards again back on the outside. And this time Clements gives Edwards the room, unlike what Milton did in the first race. But now, up into P5 goes Lewis Edwards. Look further back in the background. You see Stevens versus Welsh. And who is that to? That's Colin Barlow. And there's Ash Sharp in the distance there. Like I says many times, he's on the wheel. We've got 11 people watching. Give this race a thumbs up, guys. We've only got three likes. This is some entertaining racing. As we're seeing battles all the way through down the field. Nissan versus Honda versus Honda. In towards turns uh, two, three, and four, and Stevens holds it just. But I tell you what, this is some good ball. This is good strength for driving this here from Welsh here. We've not seen a lot of uh, Leon Welsh in this championship, but he's given this race a real go here. And fair credit to Welsh in the process as well as Colin Barrow, who we did see up his high his full position. Stevens nearly leans on Welsh going into turn seven. And there we go, into start yet another lap. And now the gap is slowly coming down. 1.6 seconds. So as McEwen found some sort of consistency now, but he can catch up to the back of that Audi of Milton. Milton, twice a winner last week at Sakuba, has firmly asserted himself in the championship hunt now. And he did finish second behind the race winner, M uh, McEwen, who is all over the back of him as we've got five laps to go. Edwards has now got up into fourth position, and I think that's probably the best that Edwards can do. Not necessarily some superhero and close up 7.3 seconds to Sean Cool, but I tell you what, Edwards must be absolutely fuming after what happened in that first race with the incident with him and Ben at that, that last corner there too. Look further back in the background, I see Colin Bardo trying to make a move on the in outside of Leon Walsh to start yet another lap. We've got four laps to go now, and Stevens has now pulled away from the battle and through on the outside of a Walsh is sticking it again. Good racing here between these two of the two independent brand Hondas. And Colin Bardo has the speed off of the first turn and up into P8, or does he? They're still going to be side by side through the fast left, through the fast right, and I think he's properly through this time. No, he still gives Walsh. Well, sorry, the uh, inside for turn five. And now Colin Bardo has a look onto the inside of turn six. A little sideways there from Welsh. And Colin Bardo sticks his nose in there. Look how much scrapes there are on the back of uh, Colin Bardo's uh, Honda. Anyways, again, they're side by side. They pretty much went side by side the whole entire lap this time. Again, three laps to go this time. Sorry, four laps to go. My apologies. This time... Colin Barrow has a look onto the inside of Walsh, and now Walsh is going to go for the crisscross. Here we go. Welsh, sorry. And this time, Colin Barrow finally gets by, but they've lost a lot of time on the back of James Stevens. He's off into the distance now. Two seconds it is. Anyways, Cool is catching up to the back of McEwen. So we've got ourselves a free car scrap here for the race lead with three laps to go. The gap now between the top three. The top three in the championship. 1.1 seconds. And Sean Cool sending the fast slap of the race there. 46.885. He's lost a lot of cut. He's lost a couple of points onto McEwen because Cool finished third in the first race compared to the win that McEwen had in round 16. This is round 17. We've got the reverse grid draw coming to you uh, in a few minutes' time, anyways. Well, at least maybe. At this rate, probably three minutes time in the process. But, I mean, you've got the top three now. Literally, nose to tail now. Less than a second between the top three in the championship. Who is going to win the second race there, people? Nine people watching. Four likes. We can get more likes here, people, surely. Ben trying to break the draft away from McEwen. McEwen stays in the slipstream. So, too, the Shonku. Penultimate lap. Here we go. Milton into tail one. Looks nice and tight. So, too, does McEwen. And then Shonku. Let's ride on board with cool and see the top two ahead of him 
Got a good scrub going on here for forward position because again, Clements is not done yet. He wants to get that top four. And just in the background too is Chris Wall. Also one retirement is uh, Jay Moore in the Volvo. So we'll see him definitely out in the final race, hopefully. Oh no, he left the lobby, didn't he? My apologies. Hopefully we'll get to see him back, hopefully. As now we're going to be starting the last lap of the race here. And again, Ben, looks like that is a sizable gap so far. But we've got one lap to go. There is only one real possibility that Liam can get by. And that is through turn number six. But he's got a great run. Gap is coming down. He is within slipstream distance. There's turn two. Here comes turn three. There's turn four. And then into turn five. Now he's got to get turn five perfectly here. He's slowly catching up now. He's got to get turn five perfectly. And he's got to make the run going into turn six. He's too far back, is he? I think he might have, you know. I think Ben's got this race in the bag. Yet another win. Oh, cool. Trying to land. Absolute lunge there from the last corner there. But it's going to be Milton that's going to hold off and take the win. That's three wins out of four from Ben. Second will go to McEwen. Cool will finish at their place. And then... All the way back into fourth place is Lewis Edwards. That's a good a good drive there. Good recovery drive from Edwards from last to fourth. Fifth is Chris Clemens. Chris Wall will finish sixth. Seventh will be James Thompson. Then in eighth place is Colin Barrow. Leon Walsh. We see the lot of Leon Welsh, sorry, in the um in that race there. Nice effort there to finish in ninth place. And here comes Ash Sharp. Don't forget about him. And there he is, across the line to finish in last place, and flashes the lights in the process. So there you go. That was an exciting second race, I have to say. Absolutely uh, entertaining race, that. <coughs> Voice is nearly gone. Dear he me. So yet another win that was from... Um, from uh, Ben now uh, oh no sorry my apologies we've got to exit that and we've got to show you the uh, race results hopefully we can get to see uh, Jay Moore back on track hopefully we can but um, here we go then I am going to let you listen to the uh, reverse grid of uh, who is going to start on pull for race 3 so uh, here we go so here we go. And this was done yesterday, by the way. Um, Friday's touring car, the third race, <clears> the <throat> reverse grid order. Put my hand in to me bag of balls. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit rude. I've got one out. I'm trying to open it up now. There we go. And in the paper. And it is number 15. So it's going to be a complete Oh, forget that. So it actually did say number 15, but as you can see there, there's only 10. So we can't do 15. So I'm going to have to get it again. This is going to be a live draw this time. So it was confirmation that it was going to be ball 15, but as you can see there, there's only 10. So this could take a while here. I've got my uh, balls out here again. Well, that sounded a bit rude. <laughs> So here we go. Just shows anything is possible in this championship. I thought there was going to be 15 that was racing here, but unfortunately not. Here we go. Here we've got one. I have one. And it is... Number eight. Number eight. So that means Colin Barrow will start on the pole position for the final race of the evening. So uh, there you go. I'm going to have a little break. And we will see you for the third race to reverse grid order. And uh, it will be Colin Bartle that will start on the pole.
Right then. <clears throat> Here we go. Getting ready for the final race. Race number 18. And it's the third race of the evening. And it will be Colin Bardo that will start on the pool. Then in second is um, Welsh. Then Sharp, Milton, McEwen, Cool, Edwards, Wall, Stevens, and Clements. There you go. <clears throat> wow, that's such an annoying camera angle. Here we go then. Getting ready for the final race of the evening. The crowd in the disbelief here. We're underway for the last race. And a good solid start that is there from Colin Barrow. He leads the field going into turn one. Watch out though for McEwen. He's going to go free breast. There. My apologies there. I just burped there. Sorry. I just drunk a bit of orange juice before Ben just clicked onto the final. And on Eddie McEwen up into third position there. Cool has uh, fallen way down. What's happened to Sean Cool? He's down in 10th place. What has happened to Sean Cool? Championship leader. Oh, he must have been caught at the start. He was caught napping at the start. What on earth was he doing there? So Sean Cool, disaster already. He may lose the championship lead because of what happened just then. So he's got a lot of work to do then to catch up to back to the front of the field. But again, it will be Colin Bardo that will lead the way. And McEwen up into second place. I think someone else was speaking a pit stop. Yeah, it was Ash. He's the first to make a pit stop. Into turn one now they go, and Colin Bardo leads the field. McEwen second, Welsh in third, Milton fourth, Edwards in fifth. Watch out for these two. Oh, well, you can see that Ben is uh, quite a bit ahead, but I mean, them two had a bit of fisticuffs in the first race at turn seven, but they are a bit too far further fetched at the moment here. But uh, he's trying to slowly catch up to the back of the top four, Bardo ahead there. That's actually quite a clever strategy of what Sharp is doing there, pitting on the first lap, because it worked for Clements last week, because he got a solid finish. So hopefully Ash will get a solid finish in this one. McEwen goes into the pit lane on lap number two. Now, the most important thing here for McEwen is he's got to come out where there's no traffic in front of him because if he's going to have traffic in front of him, he's going to lose a bit of time to Milton and a lot. And Milton goes to the inside of Welsh and takes second place away. So Ben now up into second, Welsh down to third, and Edwards is slowly catching up onto the back. Chris Wall in fifth, then Stevens seventh is cool, recovering from the uh, the nap that he had in the uh, the start of the race. And McEwen will come out now in 8th. Then you've got Clements. I think Clements actually did the same strategy as what Ash did. And in fact, Ash is looking very racy in this race. Here he goes. He's trying to find a way by Clements. To be fair on Ash's credit here. And Colin Bardo goes in. So Milton has the lead of the race. Now, more importantly though, as we ride on board with McEwen, he came out. No one in front of him, so he's got some, he's got a bit of time. Although, look at this, here comes Colin Bardo, he's going to come out just ahead. Is he side by side into turn one? And the undercut worked this time to McEwen's favour. He's got by Colin Bardo. Now, that could be pivotal here. So, I think as it stands at the moment, you've got the top five that have not yet pitted. And the guy that's going to be leading overall will be McEwen. Possibly, or will Milton get out ahead and go further distance because he is quicker than uh, Liam? So uh, that's going to be certainly interesting to see. Let's ride on um, board with the lit. Well, uh, Milton, he stays out and does another lap. Into the pilling comes Chris Wall. So now we've got four people that have not yet pitted, and it's the top four Milton, Edward, Stephen, and Cool. Again, McEwen still holding on that fifth position there. Good effort this year from Colin Bardo, holding on to McEwen, keeping him very honest here. Welsh down in seventh, then you've got Clements in eighth, then Chris Wall who's having a look on the inside. Them two pretty much had a, a battle all the way through these uh, three races, it seems here. I think uh, Wall's getting a bit of enough of seeing the back of that box of Edwards just in front of him as Edwards comes in. So we've got three people now that have not yet pitted, and now in tenth place is Ash. 
Now, Ash was saying in the chat early before I went into the commentating that he has done a lot of practice here. So, I mean, he's done he's done a solid effort here for the first time to go onto the wheel. I think that's a solid effort there from Ash. So now Milton extending the lead now. 4.4 he has over Stephen. And Sean Cook catching up onto the back of that Nissan. Sean actually found it very difficult to find a way by James last week at race three at Sakuba. So I wonder if uh, if he's going to find it a little bit tough trying to catch, uh, trying to get by James Stevens here as they come across the start finish line to start yet another lap. On to lap seven, it is Milton, Stephen, cool. Top three there in that race have not yet pitted. Then it is McEwen, then it is Colin Barlow, then it is Lewis Edwards, then it's Welsh, Mc uh, Clements. Then Wall and then Ash Sharp, that is your 10 cars racing. Such a shame that we've only seen 10 cars racing here. It was 11, but uh, Jay Moore has unfortunately left out of the race. I don't know what happened to him, so... You know, I, I hope everything's okay with Jay. Back again, looking here at the battle for that second place in race three and Sean's diving into the pit lane so Sean going into the pit lane he's going to lose now that spot so McEwen up now to third it's going to be to see what, what where Sean is going to come out with and it's going to be a massive massive dent to his championship I can tell you that he may lose the championship lead going into the penultimate round of the championship and it's really game on yet again Milton setting some decent lap times. He set the fastest lap out of everyone at 46.990. The gap now up to 5.6 seconds. But the gap between himself to Liam is about 7.2 seconds. But when is Ben going to come into the pit lane? Is he going to establish himself a big lead and then make his way into the pit lane and come out just ahead of McCune because he is still pulling away? 47.235 that last lap by. Compared to a 47.5 here for McEwen. So, yeah, he is definitely... Ben is definitely quicker than McEwen here at this rate. Look further back in the background. And Edwards is caught up to the back of Colin Barrow's uh, Roger Moen independent Honda. Now, Edwards there was still feeling a bit, uh, a bit peed off, if you will, after the incident in, in race one. Drove up to fourth place in race two from starting 11th in the field. Here he goes again, trying to get by Colin Barrow as they go through turn five. Hits the sausage cab. And it's actually nice to see uh, Colin Barrow's uh, rear end looking not a little bit uh, scratched in that to fudge like it was in the previous race. Across the start finish line to go to uh, complete half distance in the race. And it is still the top two that have not yet pitted. Milton, then Stephen, and then McEwen is the first one to have pitted already. As we're on to lap 10 out of 19. Different line from Colin Barrow. May compromise him on the exit. Little kiss on the wall there from Edwards. See the sparks fly. He's under no pressure to whatsoever. Chris Wall. Oh, in fact, the battle now going on. And uh, they're side by side. And again, Sean Koo comes out in eighth place. This is pretty much damage limitation here. He's got by Welsh. On board now with Sean as he's trying to find a way by the these two that are battling here. He's trying to find a bit of free tarmac where there's no cars there to use. And he's going to go for the crisscross at turn six. Now at turn seven. Oh, and he's got a bit of a bump and into the wall. That was Welsh. Welsh got into the back. Welsh got into the back here. Let's have a look here. It just it was just a Constantino effect here. Oh, was it a bit of lag? Was it a bit of a lag? I'm not too sure, but there was contact, and that pushed Cool off into the wall at turn seven. And this is a massive blow to Cool's championship lead here. It looked on my screen there was some lag on Welsh's onboard camera, but it's up again. Is it again? It's up to the stewards to uh, to. Uh, form that problem out the gap now up to eight well eight seconds now so i think he's going to come out ahead of liam when he makes his pit stop as one to lap 12 out of 19 as uh, stevens is finally coming to the pit lane out he goes it's going to come out maybe in the sixth 
just head of the battle with uh, Clements and Chris Wall. Indeed he does. And there's Welsh further back in the background. But Welsh could be in a little bit of bother here because he may have uh, thrown open the championship going into the penultimate round next Friday. So at the moment, at your top eight, as it stands, it is Milton, McEwen, Edwards, Colin Barlow, Stephen in fifth. As Ben finally comes into the pilling, but I think he will may still come out in the lead. Clement sixth, Walsh seventh, Walsh in Welsh in eighth, ninth is cool, and tenth place is sharp. And there he is. Yep, confirmation there. Milton is gonna come out still ahead of McEwen. So Ben still in the lead. And McEwen in second. Third is Edwards. Columbaro in fourth as we've got seven laps to go. I mean, Chris Wall has uh, lost a bit of time away from uh, Clements. And uh, actually, he's set in purple. So uh, Chris Clements there has found a groove here around this track, I think, as he's sitting, sitting with the fastest lap out of everyone at the moment. Here he goes. He goes through turn six at the hairpin. And then into turn seven. Start yet another lap, not within slipstream distance of Stephen ahead, 1.4 seconds, but he is slowly coming down. Ah, he was a little bit slower. Oh well. So the gap has really sort of uh, spread it out. The only real close battle I think is out on track is this battle for third place here with Edwards and Colombardo. This is a great show in this from uh, Jeff Colombardo. He's had a pretty good. Uh, uh, meeting here tonight solidly finishing well in these three races and I think this will be uh, Colin Barrow's best result to date 2.8 seconds he has over Stephen and we've got five laps to go Milton still leads but the gap is going up to nearly two seconds now McEwen's gap to Edwards is now less than a second so is Edwards going to spoil the party here for the championship. Now, let's see where Sean is running at the moment. He's still running in ninth place, but he's got uh, Welsh in front of him. Yeah, this race itself is going to be damage limitation here for Sean because I think his championship lead will be gone to either Ben or Liam at this rate because Ben keeps on winning and Liam keeps either winning or finishing second in these uh, races here tonight. So this is big championship points to be gained here for Sean Cool as he closes up ever so much now on Welsh's on Honda. He's got to be setting fast slap after fast slap after fast slap. And he's going to get a good toe off Welsh here. Hopefully he's going to get by him cleanly. What's he going to do going into turn one? He's going to have a look to the inside here. Indeed he does. And Welsh goes by. He probably lets him by. Probably felt guilty for doing that incident. Ooh, nearly gets into the back of him yet again. So that's that's more championship points gained now for Cool. He's got Chris Wall in front of him. 2.4 seconds. And he's got to do that within four laps. Can it be done? Who knows? He's heading blue. Now, as you notice there, his fast lap is a 46.885, but uh, uh, that didn't count. I think he must have shortcutted somewhere for that lap not to count anyways. So, Sean is uh, trying his absolute best here to catch up to the three guys ahead of him. It's, it's going to be, like I said, it's damage limitation. He's got to get any point he can get now if he can hold on to the championship lead as we've got two rounds to go. It's just like it's the only close battle that's out on the track at the moment. The battle for fifth place now resumes. Stevens versus Clements. Again, these two have had a, a whole meeting's worth of battles between these two. And the gap sort of closing down. And also two further back in the distance there is Chris Wall and the Lee Brooks ran at Peugeot. We've got two laps to go. Starting to lose a little bit of ground on Clements though is Wall. Now then into turn one for the penultimate time in race number three. Round 18 of this 
amazing looking season here because I, you know, I love I love these 98 cars for sure. I absolutely love them. I tell you what, Clemens is looking really racy. I don't think he wants to finish in sixth place. I think he wants to get that fifth place away from Stephen here, and he is actually catching up on the back of that Nissan. So we'll see if he can gain at least half a second as we go on to the last lap of this race. In fact, he's looking, he's actually very close now. Here he goes. And again, here goes Stevens. He's going to go defensive. And he's going to go late on the brakes into turn one. Will he go for the crisscross? James parks the car in the middle of the apex and holds on to that there. I think James has been a little bit more well behaved in this uh, meeting than it was at Sakuba. So that's uh, good to see. A little touch there. Turn 5 is where he'll probably make the move, or maybe turn 6. It's going to be like a, a do or die attempt, it would seem. He's trying to set it up, trying to go for a wide entrance, and he's got the run. Has he got the overlap? No, he does not. Meanwhile, Ben Milton waving across the line. He's going to take two wins yet again. McEwen will finish in second place, only just though, to uh, Edwards, who was catching quite a fair bit. Then it is uh, Colin Bartle. It will be Stevens who will finish. And Sean Cole will just finish in eighth place. He was so close to the back of uh, Chris Wall. Ninth place will go to Jay, um, Leon Welsh. And here comes Ash, weaving across the start finish line. And he will finish in last place overall. So there you have it. That has been the GT Sport SBR BTCC with BTCC Blueprints and Paul, Wel Paul Welsh. Congratulations again then to Ben on two victories yet again. And I tell you what, the points are going to be very, very crucial now considering that Cool finished in eighth place. And the other two that finished with that was second and third in the championship finishing one and two. So there you have it then, ladies and gentlemen. That has been round six of the championship. The championship is going to go down to the wire, it would seem. And uh, we will see you again next week. Hopefully we'll get to see all 15 competing to, uh, on Friday. Because it'll be quite nice to see that. Instead of just seeing the 10, unfortunately. But anyways, we'll see you next Friday. So until then, goodbye.